Greetings. I'm Professor David Skidmore. I teach at Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa in the United States. I'll actually be traveling to Beijing in a couple of weeks to teach a short course at UIBE. I was asked to offer a few tips for uh, Chinese students who are preparing to uh, take up graduate study in the United States next fall. Um, congratulations, first of all. It's a wonderful thing that you're, you've succeeded in your study so well that um, you have that opportunity. Um, in fact, uh, my observations won't focus very much on academics. In fact, you've uh, done so well in your studies that you're, you're quite prepared, I think, for the academic side of your experience. But what I would like to do is to speak a little bit about the other part of the uh, experience you're going to have in the United States, the cultural, the social aspects. Uh, so Americans love top ten lists. So I've organized my comments in the form of uh, top ten lists of suggestions or, or ideas on how to make the most of your time studying in the United States. So. Um, Tip number one, first of all, read up on American history and culture. Um, the better prepared you are, the more you'll get out of the experience. Beyond the general history of the United States, um, find out something about the city and the state where you'll be located. Uh, America has, as you know, 50 states, and uh, Americans feel often more attached to the locality to, than to the country as a whole. So um, I think you'll find that an interesting experience to, to learn a little bit about the place you'll be. Tip number two, the value of studying in uh, another country derives only a small part from the formal education program you'll be entering. In fact, you could learn uh, much the same by studying at one of China's um, wonderful universities. Really, the added value of studying abroad comes from what you learn outside the classroom by immersing yourself in a different culture and by developing the ability to adapt to new circumstances. Three, uh, that sort of for that sort of learning to take place, you have to know when to put down the books and seek out cultural learning opportunities. On your campus, you'll find that there are many, many different opportunities, uh, lectures, cultural events, artistic events, um, lots of opportunities to learn about all kinds of different subjects beyond what you're there to study. And I really encourage you to, to seek out those kind of opportunities. Number four, if you have the opportunity to uh, sign up for a host family, I really would encourage you to do that. It's uh, a great way to learn about family life in the United States. Uh, your host family can serve as a kind of cultural guide. They'll invite you to um, take part in family activities. And uh, my wife, for instance, uh, when she studied in Germany, she had a, a host family and they're still in touch, um, you know, almost 50 years later. So um, t look into that and see if that's an opportunity. Number five, it's very comforting to stay with the familiar. So uh, it's common for students from the same country to hang out together. Uh, but I want to encourage you to go out of your way to socialize and to meet American students as well as uh, students from other countries who are studying in the United States. Most Americans are open, friendly, talkative. Don't be shy about introducing yourself. Um, Making lasting friends is a bit more work, uh, but it's really worth the effort. Six, by and large, American professors are approachable and they welcome informal time with students outside of class. Your professors will have office hours, and uh, I would encourage you to stop by early during the term and uh, get to know them a little bit, um, help them put a name with your face, and then whenever you have questions about the, the, the course or, or just other things, um, if you're struggling a little bit, uh, certainly drop by and spend the time to uh, bring your questions to the professor and they'll be happy to help out. Number seven, one of the distinctive aspects of American society is that 
there are an endless number of clubs and groups and organizations uh, that you can take part in. Um, so many of these are on campus. You'll have lots of those opportunities. But you can also get involved in volunteer groups off campus in the community, and that can be a very rewarding and important experience for you. Uh, some of you will be picking up skill sets that um, are of you know, great use to these community organizations, and they certainly would appreciate the help that you have to offer. Number eight, um, get off campus. Uh, spend holidays with host family or with the family of, of, of uh, an American friend. Um, explore the city. Um, you know, find out a little bit about what life is like beyond the bubble of a, a university campus. While you're in the United States, you're going to notice that there are many things different from what you are used to. And uh, th there's always a human temptation when we encounter something different to make a judgment about it, to react favorably to some things and negatively to others. I'd encourage you to resist that temptation. Uh, instead, try to understand what you see around you and without making value judgments. Um, I think this is a, a better way to, to grasp and, and learn about another culture. And before you return home, your understanding of American society will become much richer and much more complex. And final, number 10. Um, you'll discover, unfortunately, that many Americans know very little about China, even though it's the world's most populous country. Um, many people hold misperceptions or stereotypes. The best way to, um, you may get difficult questions. Um, you may not always feel qualified to answer these questions. Uh, that's okay. The best way to respond, I think, is to share what you know, to confess and be honest about what you don't know. Um, some people might expect other, might uh, suggest to you otherwise, but you are not an ambassador for China. There's no way that any one person can speak on behalf of 1.2 billion people. In turn, the Americans you meet um, are, speak on their own behalf and not on behalf of the whole country. So just speak from your own heart, from your own experience and knowledge and, and share what uh, your own perspective. And don't feel pressure to have to represent uh, your country, so to speak. Well, those are a few tips. Um, I envy you. You're young and you're about to embark upon a great adventure. Um, just realize that the learning that, that uh, awaits you is not just what you pick up in the classroom or from the books. Um, every waking hour is an opportunity to learn. And uh, I think you'll, if you look at it that way, you'll get a lot out of the experience and you'll find it is something that uh, enriches you for the rest of your life. So I, uh, I hope you have a great uh, year in, or multiple years perhaps, in the United States. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to share a little bit, some, uh, some ideas on, on how to make the most of it. Take care. Bye-bye. Sai Jin.